Hey guys, this is Jade. Today we're going to learn how to create wedding seamless Instagram post template in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want the completely designed .psd files means hit the like button. So after reaching 500 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First, let's create a new canvas in Photoshop. Go to File, New. The standard Instagram post size is 1080 by 1080. Width is 1080 pixels and height is 1080 pixels. Here, we are going to create totally four images posts combined into a single template to create that seamless effect. So, we are going to keep the template size as 4320 by 1080, which is 1080 into 4. 4324 width and height remains same 1080. In case if you want to add more images, just add 1080 to your template width. Using this measurement, now create your canvas. I am going with 4320 by 1080. I'll keep the resolution as 150 and color mode RGB. Now create your canvas. There you go, now canvas is ready. Next step, we are going to create guidelines. Guidelines are going to be used as a reference line to divide our template into a 4 image post. Now to create guideline, go to view, select new guide, this one, then select vertical option. In the position, I am going to keep the size as 1080 pixels. Now click OK, there you go, this is going to be our first image which is our first post. Next we are going to create two more guidelines. For that, first we are going to pick the Mocky tool, this one. Now use the guidelines as reference, make a selection like so. Now move the selection to right side. Now it's time to create our second guideline. Give a click on left side ruler, drag it in, create your second guideline. This one is our image post 2. Now move the selection to right side. Again give a click on vertical ruler. Drag it in. Create your third guideline. There you go. We divided our template into 4 image posts. Now hit Ctrl D to deselect. This one going to be our image 1 post 2 and this one is 3 and 4. In case if you are a beginner, you find a little hard to follow this tutorial means don't worry. All you got to do is now go to the project file, link in the description. In the project file, I have given you a PSD template called Instagram template. Double click and open the file inside Photoshop. Yes, this one is design ready file. You will find neatly arranged layers panel, guidelines and I also included the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. So if you are a beginner means feel free to use this template. Now the next step is we are going to create our solid color background. For that go to the adjustment layer option, create solid color adjustment layer. There I am going to pick this yellow color. You can go with any color. Now click OK. There you go. We created our solid color background. Next step we are going to create our image placeholder shapes where we are going to drop in our images. Let's see how to get it done. Now go to images group, create a layer, now go to color picker, this one, select black color, now pick the shapes tool, this one, there I am going to pick the rectangle tool, make sure fill is enabled, stroke is disabled, now create a rectangle shape like so, fine, in case if you want to resize the Shape means enable free transform tool by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl T and you can resize the shape like so and feel free to use your keyboard arrow keys to adjust the shape position. Next we are going to name the layer as image 1. Fine. Next we are going to create another rectangle shape, create a layer, make sure black color is selected. Pick the rectangle tool, 
I'll create a rectangle shape here. 10% of the shape will lie inside image post 1, remaining on image post 2. Adjust the position using your keyboard arrow keys. Once you're done, next step is to name the layer as image 2. Fine. Next, we are going to create two more rectangle shapes. Very same step. Create a layer with the same rectangle tool. I'm going to create a rectangle shape here. There you go. As I said before, in case we want to resize the shape, means enable free, transform to control T and resize the shape. I'm going to create another rectangle shape, create a layer with rectangle shapes tool selected, create another shape on right side here. Fine. Now our shapes are ready. Next step, it's time to drop in our images. Go to the project file, open image one inside Photoshop. Of course, you can use your image. Now drag and drop your image inside of a canvas. Make sure to place the image right above our image placeholder layer. Fine. Next step, it's time to clip mask your image. Right click the image layer. Now clip mask the image. By doing so, our image will appear inside the image place of the shape alone. Next step, it's time to resize the image. Enable free transform tool control T and resize the image. There you go. Next step, it's time to drop in our image 2, 3 and 4. Go to the project file, open image 2 inside Photoshop. Yes, very same step, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Place the image right above our respective image placeholder shape. Right click, clip mask the image. Enable free transform tool control T and resize it. Fine. Next, I'm going to add my image 3 and 4. Open the image, drag and drop it. Place it right above our respective image placeholder shape. Right click, clip mask it. Enable free, transform tool, control T and resize it. There you go. Now our images are ready. To create that seamless effect, I placed our second image 10% inside post 1 and remaining inside post 2. Similarly, third image is placed in such a way it will appear on post 2, 3 and 4. Fine. Next step, I am going to add few rectangle shapes right behind our images. Let's see how to get it done. Now go to the design group first. Create a layer. Next, go to color picker, select any color you want. I'm going with this pink color. Now pick the rectangle tool, this one. Let's start by creating our rectangle shape here. There you go. Adjust the position using your keyboard arrow keys. Fine, I'll create another one here. I'm going to add two more shapes for our third image. I'll add one here. There you go. To resize the shape, as I said before, you can use free transform tool control T and resize the shape. I'll add another shape here. I'll adjust the position using keyboard arrow keys. I'll move it to right side. Fine. Once you're done, 
we are done with our design shapes next we are going to add our text content go to text group create a layer go to color picker i'm going with black color now pick the text tool this one then select horizontal type tool the font i'm using is a free font i'll give a link in the description you can download it if you want now add your text content i'm sure you know how it works To resize the text size, you can change the points at the top or enable free transfer tool control T and you can increase the font size. I'll create a duplicate copy of this text layer, control J, move it down, edit the text. Next I'm going to add a text content. I'm going to place it middle of post 2 and 3 here. Create a layer with same black color with the same font. I'm going to add my text content. Now we are done with our text spot. Next we're going to add pre-designed leaf stock images. Before that, I'll disable the color palette. I'm going to place the leaf stock image inside design group. So select the design group. Now go to the project file, open the leaf stock image inside Photoshop, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I'm going to place it at the top here. Move it and place it at the top here. It's going to appear on post 1, also on post 2. I'm going to add another leaf stock image here. Go to the project file. Open image 7 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place it inside design group. Now enable free transfer tool control T. Resize it, place it such a way it will appear on both post 3 and 4. Once you're done, our designing process is complete. Next, it's time to export the file. Let's start by merging all our layer into a single layer. I'm going to use keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl Alt E. There you go. Now all our layers are merged into a single layer. Next comes the important part. We are going to save this template as a four separate images. Fine. Let's see how to get it done. First, pick the Mocky tool. This one. Now, make a selection of our post 1. Use the guidelines as reference. There you go. Once you made the selection, now it's time to copy the image. Go to Edit, click Copy. Fine, now our image is copied to clipboard. Now, go to File, New. Now, create a new canvas. The size of the canvas should be 1080 by 1080. Keep the resolution as 150. Now create a canvas. Now paste the image inside of a new canvas. Go to edit and paste. There you go. Now it's time to export our image. Go to file. Export. Select save for web. There I'm going to select PNG. Now save your file. Now our image 1 is ready. It's time to export our remaining 3 images. Roll back to the main canvas. Now with the same marquee tool selected, make a selection of our post 2 using the guidelines as reference. Go to edit, copy. Now roll back to the new canvas. Paste the image. I use keyboard shortcut control V. Now go to file, export, save for web. Make sure to select the option as PNG for better result. Now save the second image. Roll back to the main canvas. We are going to repeat the same step for post 3 and 4. Make a selection, copy, go to the new canvas, paste, export the image. 
again roll back to the main canvas make a selection of post 4 paste and export once you're done you will have four images now share them in instagram in the same sequential order to get standing seamless effect So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials, subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, take care.